Kurt Lewin developed a change model involving three steps, unfreezing, changing, and refreezing. The model represents a very simple and practical model for understanding the change process. For Lewin, the process of change entails creating the perception that a change is needed, then moving towards the new desired level of behavior, and finally solidifying that new behavior as the norm. The model is still very widely used and serves as a basis for many modern change models. Before you can cook a meal that has been frozen, you need to defrost or thaw it out. The same can be said of change. Before a change can be implemented, it must go through the initial step of unfreezing. Because many people will naturally resist change, the goal during the unfreezing stage is to create an awareness of how the status quo, or current level of acceptability, is hindering the organization in some way. Old behaviors, ways of thinking, processes, people, and organizational structures must all be carefully examined to show employees how necessary a change is for the organization to create or maintain a competitive advantage in the marketplace. Communication is especially important during the unfreezing stage so that employees can become informed about the imminent change, the logic behind it, and how it will benefit each employee. The idea is that the more we know about a change and the more we feel it is necessary and urgent, the more motivated we are to accept the change. Now that the people are unfrozen, they can begin to move. Lewin recognized that change is a process where the organization must transition or move into this new state of being. This changing step also referred to as transitioning or moving, is marked by the implementation of the change. This is when the change becomes real. It's also, consequently, the time that most people struggle with the new reality. It is a time marked with uncertainty and fear, making it the hardest step to overcome. During the changing step, people begin to learn the new behaviors, processes, and ways of thinking. The more prepared they are for this step, the easier it is to complete. For this reason, education, communication, support, and time are critical for employees as they become familiar with the change. Again, change is a process that must be carefully planned and executed. Throughout this process, employees should be reminded of the reasons for the change and how it will benefit them once fully implemented. Lewin called the final stage of his change model freezing, but many refer to it as refreezing to symbolize the act of reinforcing, stabilizing, and solidifying the new state after the change. The changes made to the organizational processes, goals, structure, offering, or people are accepted and refrozen as the new norm or status quo. Lewin found the refreezing step to be especially important to ensure that people do not revert back to their old ways of thinking or doing prior to the implementation of the change. Efforts must be made to guarantee the change is not lost. Rather, it needs to be cemented into the organization's culture and maintained as the acceptable way of thinking or doing. Positive rewards and acknowledgement of individualized efforts are often used to reinforce the new state because it is believed that positively reinforced behavior will likely to be repeated. Some argue that the refreezing step is outdated in contemporary business due to the continuous need for change. They find it unnecessary to spend time freezing a new state when chances are that it will need to be reevaluated and possibly changed again in the immediate future. However, as I previously mentioned, without the refreezing step, there is a high chance that people will revert back to the old ways of doing. Taking one step forward and two steps back can be a common theme when organizations overlook the refreezing step in anticipation for future change. To better understand Lewin's change model, let's take a look at the following example. Kitty Chiropractic has decided to switch from using handwritten medical records to electronic ones.
All of the staff at Kitty have always relied on handwritten medical records when performing their jobs and have expressed concerns about switching to the new electronic format. However, Kitty management believes that making the switch to electronic records will increase efficiency and reduce the amount of time that it takes to record patient information. First, Kitty management will have to spend time unfreezing the employee's belief that the old way of recording patient records is adequate. The management team will need to communicate the perceived benefits of the new electronic method, making sure to demonstrate how the pros outweigh the cons. The staff will need to understand how much more efficient the new method of electronic recording will be in comparison to the old handwritten process. Next, kitty management will need to transition into the changing stage by implementing the new electronic recording system. This will mark a time of uncertainty in the kitty staff, making it necessary for the management team to offer training and support as the employees become familiar with the new electronic system. Finally, kitty management will need to refreeze the new method of recording into the organization's culture making certain that the staff recognizes the electronic system as the new norm and the manner in which they will record patient information going forward. The management team should also recognize the efforts made by the staff members to learn and use the new system by offering them some sort of reward and praise. Let's review. Kurt Lewin developed a change model involving three steps. Unfreezing, changing, and refreezing. For Lewin, the process of change entails creating the perception that a change is needed, then moving towards the new desired level of behavior, and finally solidifying that new behavior as the norm. The goal during the unfreezing stage is to create an awareness of how the status quo or current level of acceptability is hindering the organization in some way. The idea is that the more we know about a change and the more we feel that it is necessary and urgent, the more motivated we are to accept the change. Once people are unfrozen, they can begin to move into the implementation phase, also called the changing stage. During the changing stage, people begin to learn the new behaviors, processes, and ways of thinking. The more prepared they are for this step, the easier it is to complete. Lewin called the final stage of his change model freezing, but many refer to it as refreezing to symbolize the act of reinforcing, stabilizing, and solidifying the new state after the change. The change is made to organizational processes, goals, structures, offerings, or people are accepted and refrozen as the new norm or status quo.